Hi everyone, in this video we will talk about Redux. What is Redux? The first question is that what is Redux? Redux is a state management library for JavaScript. Okay, for the JavaScript we can use that with the JavaScript libraries or frameworks such as Angular, VUE and React. In this video we will use Redux with React. Uh, and uh, why we use the Redux? So I will just open the paint program and just show to you in our application for example it is our application okay in our application um, we have components more than one components these are components with us okay so for example we need a data which which is used in this component and also in this and in this component okay for example like user authentication user data okay user username and id and something else port or whatever is that okay so that data is needed in these three components are in all components okay so it was very hard and difficult to pass that data through each component okay to pass from this to this company and from this to another to another okay passing through each and another component this was very hard to handle okay this data so the redux came to them came to the ground okay so what the redux do for the redux we have a global store okay we have here a global store in this global store we will store our data like user authentication information uh, user information or other data we would like to store in that okay the data which is used in more than one component so from that global store we can access that data in all components okay how many components we have we can access that in those com uh, in these components okay so it is the usage of uh, redux why redux came to the ground and how to use it in redux we have three main things which are the reducer action and store so now we will uh, create an example a counter example for that and we will explain every part of the redux so let's get started guys so before starting please subscribe our youtube channel so first we will um, first you have to create your react app in fact create react app the name of the app and also you should install the redux so after installing the redux um, we will come now to create the user interface for the counter application okay first i will create that Counter application. I will add a class here. So here I will have a button, and the button will be for increment. Then here I should display the data right now i will present just zero and another button will be for decrement i will add the css code for this to design it okay i will stop the video i will design that so i wrote this design css design for my application so it looks like this okay and it is the css code for this design counter up counter increment decrement buttons and also finally for the text i added this pen tag for the text so now when we now we will start our redux coding so i always create a separate folder for my redux files okay so first we will come that whenever we click on this button increment or this decrement button so it dispatch and action we told before that uh, we in the redux we have three things redux uh, a store action and reducer so first of all when we are clicking on this button or this button we are dispatching in action okay in action the first thing is that action that we will write code for that as it as from the name implies that the action mean that 
what we would like to perform okay so first i will create an action file for the redux okay in this redux folder i have created a counter action file okay so now i will write code for this uh, uh, action file so export const function the first act uh, the first action with us is that increment okay increment so i will remove this the first action with us is the increment okay so now we will write code so here we will return what we will return first the type which type of action we would like to perform it is increment with us increment okay i will just change this to curly brackets so the first thing is that the type is the increment with us okay so if we have other data that we would like to um, pass in this action so then that data will be passed to this function so through this function we will define that here and then we, we can access that in our reducer file so right now we don't have any other data we just have this type the type is increment with us and also we have another action with, which is decrement with us okay I will change the name decrement sorry de decrement okay in the type of this will be decrement now we wrote the co code for our um, action file okay just come here So now we will come to the reducer file okay here in the dex file we have the reducer file so what the reducer do the reducer transform uh, our state tree by actions okay it means it return a new state it takes two arguments two parameters one is the previous state and the second one is the action okay so now we will add the code for that export export function counter reducer okay counter reducer and it takes two um, state with us two parameter one is the state the second one is the action so for state uh, by default I will assign zero to it okay by default i will assign zero to it so you can define initial state also here const initial state and assign a value to that then use the initial variable here if you have an object so then um, initialize declare that here and then assign that here so now i will uh, return i will use the switch statement okay switch statement action that type okay action that type we have the type variable in our uh, counter action okay so now i will use that this uh, type type okay the action has the action that we would like to perform so action that type if the action that type was case if the action was increment then we will perform this task return and if the action was decrement we will perform this task default we will return the state now come here to return the uh, in the first for the increment so for the counter application we will simply write our state plus one okay and also for the decrement we will write state minus one and by default we will return the state so it was all about our counter reducer 
so the third thing is the store which is remained i will write the code for that later so now i will come just here i will dispatch the action so for dispatching the action so first what i should do i should import use dispatch from react redux okay i will dispatch the action so now i will declare an instance for that dispatch is equal to use dispatch and whenever and i click on this button and click so i will call the action button okay this increment function so first i will import that import increment from action okay and also i will import the decrement one i will import that here decrement so here i will call the uh, increment one okay increment first i will use the dispatch okay sorry i should use the dispatch okay dispatch before dispatch i will write this arrow function dispatch in the dispatch we will call our increment function okay and also we will do the same for uh, decrement function just i will change the name to decrement so now we have dispatched our actions so for to retrieve the data okay this data how we will retrieve now our store okay our data so i will do it later first i will write the code for store so for store i will come to the index file and i will write that code for in the index.js file as the store is the global uh, the central place okay from where we will access the data so we will uh, use we will import two things first the provider provider i will actually import that from react redux and the second one is configure store okay configure store from redux uh, js toolkit so you will install this file also and also Reda react redux redux for your application so i imported these two things so now what i should do i will wrap my component okay my component through this provider so what i should do i will just write it provider and what i should do now i will just uh, pass the store here so after that our how much components we have so do we all the all child component will access our store so what i should do per store so i will come here i will just uh, write here store const store is equal to configure store and to this we will pass red user and we will pass our reducer i will import my reducer also counter reducer okay i imported this and now i will use that here counter i will assign a name counter and counter reducer counter reducer so now i will pass my store to the provider okay store sorry is equal to store i will pass that here so we just passed our store and all child component will access this store so for accessing or retrieving the data so now i will retrieve the data in our uh, counter file okay so now i will uh, access the data here so to access the data it means that the counter that we are incrementing and decrementing so for that i will use uh, use selector for retrieving the data okay use selector from the active dax i have imported it 
so after importing it i will just assign it counter counter is equal to use selector i will use it and i will pass a row function to it state that counter before i assign the name counter state that counter so now i will access my data here okay i will just write here now in curly brackets it is, it is javascript the counter so now let's see it what happened so let's see it uh, it is in error in counter reducer so come here to counter reducer so yes i should return the state yes and come here now we have our application so let's click the increment and uh, the action didn't apply it so let's see what happened and uh, oh sorry it is on click mm, okay and click okay and click let's see it refresh the page see it we have incremented our back decremented so it was all about redux i hope that you got something and you understand about the redux and you got the concept of redux and how to use it so it was all about redux if you have liked the video so please subscribe our youtube channel and share this video with friends to understand and to have a comprehensive information about the redux thanks for watching